Well, good morning, all my hiking friends and backpacking friends, and all you other yahoos, adventurers, and dreamers. This is Little Hike Mike, and as you can see, I'm taking a little walk, a jaunt, or you could say a little hike around my neighborhood. And the reason for this short clip is to announce my next big adventure. And then also to show you where I'm going on the map. And then also show you what I'm taking in my backpack. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do down below. Hit that like button. So stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome to my Awesome Adventures studios in beautiful downtown Kinston, North Carolina. Thanks for tuning in. Once again, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button and then also hit that bell and that'll alert you as to when I've posted my next video. So in this short video today, I'm announcing my next big awesome adventure. And that's going to be the Foothills Trail that starts in South Carolina, goes into North Carolina, and then ends in South Carolina again. And uh, you can go either eastbound or westbound. Uh, myself and a friend are going to be going westbound. I'm sorry, myself and a friend are going to be going eastbound, starting in Oconee State Park and then uh, heading west eastbound to, over to Table Rock State Park. And along the way, we're going to be weaving along the border of Georgia and then up into North Carolina and then back down into South Carolina. And 77 miles later, we're going to be ending up in um, Table Rock State Park. So along the way, uh, I've got a couple of resources that I'm going to be using and one is the Foothills Trail Conservancy guidebook um, and so I'm going to be using that to uh, just to, uh, take reference to and then also I'm going to be using uh, the map that they provide also and um, I'm excited about this trip because it's going to be the longest through hike that I've done and I'm looking forward to it the weather's supposed to be beautiful. Uh, we're not expecting uh, any cold weather or rain, so I hope that's the case. So one other thing I'm going to be talking about in this video is my gear, so stay tuned for that. Okay folks, our plan is to complete this trail in about six days. So uh, at this point, um, I'm a lightweight packer. Uh, have not gotten ultralight, but um, my pack weight with food and everything is going to be approximately 30, 31 pounds uh, at this point. So I may lighten that load a little bit before we actually hit the trail, but um, what you see here in front of you is the ULA circuit backpack fully loaded with uh, food and everything, food and water. Um, and everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dismantle it uh, and kind of show you everything what I've got going. So let's start with the um, 
what's in my mesh pockets here. And um, I've got two trekking poles um, that are different. They're actually the same brand, but they're uh, different colors. And one has a cork handle, and the other one has a plastic handle. But uh, I've just got those in there for safekeeping right now. So I will be using trekking poles. My tent does require one trekking pole. So uh, as I take it apart in the um, um, in the back where it has the uh, uh, shock cord, <laughs> I can remember the name of that, but. Uh, in the back where it has the shock cord, I just keep a couple of different things. One is my little easy um, Thermarest uh, Z seat. And, and so that's what I'll be using as um, a seat when I get to camp. I do have my um, little, the uh, Deuce number two UL trowel. Uh, it's only 0.6 ounces. I have that uh, clipped to the back of uh, the pack. And then inside the mesh, I keep a couple of things. My camp shoes, which are just real lightweight um, rubber um, tongs, you might say. And then I've got my uh, guidebook and my map and my compass back here. So re just reference. I like to do that sort of thing, so I keep that in the back. And then I do keep a spare bottle back here and uh, you can read that it says P and at night I sleep in a tent so I don't like to get up out of the tent and go to the bathroom so uh, I just pee in a bottle and I'm real careful so I have about a quart size pee bottle back there and then as I go deeper into the uh, mesh I have my rain, rain jacket it's gonna get less top heavy here as I go I got my rain jacket that's my enlightened equipment visp I have a pack cover ULA pack cover and then I have a first aid kit I'm not going to show you what's in each kit but first aid kit weighs about two and a half ounces and then down deeper inside here I have my um, hygiene kit which I do have my TP in there and then I have a washcloth in there and I have some wipes in there also so that's my hygiene I call it the hygiene kit and then my tent stakes and I do have a we'll put this down on the ground I do have what happened to it I do have a rain skirt, but it's not there. I'll find out where that's at. <laughs> and then I use this um, GSI cup for drinking hot drinks, like coffee, hot chocolate, that sort of thing. And that's um, carabiner to the back of my uh, uh, backpack. Now, in the side pockets, Uh, I put my water filtration system. I have a little scoop cup just in case and some camera gear. I have my uh, monopod here and then I also have a bug net. I doubt if I'm going to be needing that but it hardly weighs anything. And then I have a little tablecloth I use when I cook there. So that's all that's in that pocket. In this pocket, I have a one liter water, smart water bottle. And then I have my tent footprint, which is just Tyvex here. And that goes in the side pocket. And then I have a small mirror, very, very lightweight mirror because I wear contacts. So I take them out at night and put them back in in the morning. I'll also be taking a pair of glasses with me too. Um, on my shoulder straps, I keep my Garmin inReach. Um, 
which is carabiner to the uh, shoulder strap. And they also have another bottle of, um, and this is a 750 milliliter bottle of uh, water. And then I am taking some sunscreen. I'm not going to take that off now. Then I have in my side pockets my uh, waist, side, waist pocket, um, strap pockets. I have um, a little ditty bag that has uh, medications in and uh, vitamins and that sort of thing. And then I'm taking a little bit of bug spray with me. 100% uh, well it's about 98% DEET. So not sure how bad the bugs are going to be this time of year but they do get bad uh, sometimes during the spring. And then I've got a little uh, an extra uh, bear line here and I'm taking that in case uh, we get wet and we have to dry our clothes out along the way. And then I take a full packet of wet ones uh, in one of the side pockets too. So that's in that side pocket. In the other side pocket, another piece of camera gear, I have my GoPro 6 and a little tripod that I put that on. And then I'm going to carry, there's my Nikkor headlamp. And then I have a massage ball that I take in that. All right, that's all on the outside of my pack. Uh, getting inside of the pack, of course, I've got on top is my food bag. And uh, I've got all my food in here except for one thing. Uh, which I keep in the refrigerator until I get going uh, and that's um, about eight pounds of food right there and again we're planning on being on a trail for six days so uh, we're going to take our time I know some people do it in four days well God bless you um, okay then I have my electronics I'm taking two um, anchor batteries uh, chargers and one's a 20 20,000 milliamp the other one's a 10,000 milliamp. Uh, I'm, I'm not taking the chance that I'm going to run out of power because I do vlog and I have a couple of other things I have to recharge. Three other things. Uh, and then my cook kit. Let's see here. Oh, let's get my tent out first. There's my tent. Okay, that's the um, Six Moons Design Lunar Solo. Weighs 27 ounces. And then I, I'm taking an extra fuel canister with me. And then I do have a uh, comp, trash compactor bag in here to keep everything dry that's down inside here. And I do have my cook kit down in there. And inside my cook kit, I carry another fuel canister and then um, some things to wipe out my pot when I'm done cooking and then my stove. I got my puffy jacket in there. My clothes bag in there. My sleeping bag in there. My sleeping pad that I have. The Neo uh, Nemo um, And then one other thing, I have one more bitty bag that has um, a sewing kit and then also a repair kit and then some fire starting material in there. And I believe that's it. And that's my pack. I got one extra um, dry bag that if I put my, uh, if I get wet, I put my rain jacket in uh, just to keep it from getting everything else wet. Okay, so that's my entire pack. Oh yeah, I have a little um, thing of uh, Bath and Body Works unscented antibacterial hand sanitizer right there, ready to go. Okay, so that's my pack and what I have in it. And so I didn't go into detail with everything that I have here, but um, uh, I've got about the, with including the water and the food, 
I've got about 30 pounds there. And um, again, we're taking our time going down the trail. Uh, we're gonna enjoy it. Hopefully we have good weather along the way. And we plan on being out about five nights. And so I got enough food, to, uh, probably a little bit of overkill just in case. Um, and then some luxury items here, as you can see. So thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video today that I've presented. And I look forward to sh sharing with you the rest of my, uh, or the trip itself, which is coming up here in just a few days. So uh, once again, thanks for subscribing. If you're a subscriber, if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and then um, hit the bell. That'll notify you that I've had a, another video posted. And I'll see you on the trail. Thanks for watching.